I think it comes back to what we talked about during the shiny object podcast. It's start with why, yeah. like, why are you going to college? Like, what is your end result? Right? We always say that if it's, it's the quote with the, the Alice in Wonderland, right? Yeah. If you don't know where you want to go, any road will get you there. Yeah. Right. And we have to start with the end in mind. And what is the end result? And ask ourselves, will college get us to a result? Yes. Will it get us yes. to our job, our profession, our degree? And are we okay with walking away with fifty to hundred thousand dollars in debt because of that and yep. consequence as well? This is Better Wealth with Caleb Williams. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Better World Podcast. I'm here with my good friend, Dominic Rufren. Thank you so much. As always, to have me, brother. We are officially not even friends. We're like family. That's right. I, I hesitated because I felt like I misspelled, I mispronounced your you, name. You, you did. It's, uh, it's Roof <laughs> Ran. so no, no big deal. I'm only on your team, so which makes this content even better. I feel like this happens more than it should, <laughs> and so please don't judge me. Last name. I have, I'm very understanding because everyone butchers my last yeah, name. Your name is Williams with a W, right? That's right. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's just like this awkward two minute rant of me having to explain how to say Williams. One of my favorite um, stories is I'm actually speaking here soon. And um, someone, someone, someone had me on their podcast and they called me right before they were doing the intro. And they're like, Hey, can you, can you tell me how you say your last name? And I'm like, Williams. They're like, Williams. I'm like, no. Williams. <laughs> so it was just funny. I was like, I've never gotten a call by someone who needed a, a name production. Uh, anyways, we got a fire interview today. Let me tell you, you did a video that we're going to tee up shortly that went semi viral on LinkedIn. Yep. And I thought it was super well done. Thank you. And so if you're watching this, you're definitely going to love the video. If you're listening to this, go over to our YouTube channel while you're there, hit subscribe, watch this video. It's hilarious, but this should make sense. Even if you're listening, and before we before we jump into the video, anything that you want to say context wise before going in that has something to do with education, that's all I'll say. Yeah, from from an educational standpoint, you know, just want everybody to know who's listening. Like, I truly do believe in education, and I think it's a super powerful tool to help you achieve what you want out of life. I just think it needs to be in the right context, right? Too many times the wrong people are getting into the education system, college when they shouldn't be, when they should be doing a trade school or working for somebody for free or whatever the case is. And so as you're listening to this, just know that I am a believer of the education system, but it needs to be in the right context. Yep. With that, here's the video. Class today, we are going to learn about what happens when the Star Wars wasps and the pink fairy armadillos make love to each other. Mr. Rufran, wake up. Dominic, I will not have you disrupting my class because of your snoring. No offense, Dr. Jingles, but if you actually taught something that was relevant, well, maybe I wouldn't be sleeping. Excuse me? Why in the world do I need to know about a pink armadillo and a Star Wars wasp making love to each other? I want to learn about how to make money and file my taxes, how to build credit and whatever else I need to know in life. The problem is, is I don't even know what I'm supposed to learn. I'm an 18 year old kid that can't even keep his dorm room clean and that stays up till two in the morning watching The Office. And as Michael Scott would say, sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. And that is exactly what's happening right now. I don't know what I don't know. All I know is I don't know. But right now, what it looks like to me is I'm paying you 50K to tell me about these two bugs making fun in the jungle. But the whole reason I gave my money to you is because I trusted you to equip me for life. I promise you, you are getting the best education your money can buy you. If I'm getting the best education here, why will I walk away with $200,000 in debt and not even know how to pay it off? Or why is it that 40% of Americans can't cover an unexpected expense of $400? And why is that only 38% of non-retired Americans believe that they're on track for retirement? Last thing, don't ask me how I have an F in your class when I know all this stuff. But I digress. Something has got to change. I'm leaving and changing the world. Who's with me? Yeah, I would, but my parents are forcing me to be here. Yeah, I would, but I just don't want to be seen as a failure for not getting a college degree. Yeah, I would too, but my dream is to play ball, so that's why I'm here. 
Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, Mr. Jingles. I'm just gonna go back to sleep now. Hey everybody, just to be clear, I'm a huge fan of education, but education in the right context. I believe if you want things to be better, you have to be better. I even believe there is a right time and place for college education. And I truly, truly believe there are amazing teachers and educators out there. I personally know plenty of them, but as a whole system, it's just not set up to prepare most people for life. And at the same time, it creates a big debt burden for people. Change needs to be made and people need to wake up around the facts around the system. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you believe our education system is broken. My man, f shots are fired and I, I can tell why this went, went viral. You had almost 200 comments. How, how many people, like what were their comments? What, what, what was the overall, like did you get pushback? Did you get people that were like, this is a terrible video? What, what, was, what was the overall thoughts? I'm not, I'm not kidding of like all of the comments, 100% of people agreed with me. Wow. And they loved what I said. And they were like, yes, the education system is broken. Things need to change. Yeah. And we need to wake up as society. Wow. Wow. So um, know, knowing what you know now and with with receiving those comments, and I'm, I'm with you, by the way. I mean, we're, we're it's only a matter of time until I get um, some of my friends that uh, run Praxis, a college alternative. Like talking to them is really interesting because it's not that, again, it's not the college's is bad, but it's for so many people, we are literally seeing people waste their time and their money. And I would say that they're less smart, less motivated coming out of school um, because of just the environment. So with that, what is what what do you want to tell what do you want to tell Johnny who's who's 17 years old going into their senior year of high school? What do you want to tell, you know, Susan who's sophomore in in college? Or, or more importantly, what do you want to tell their parents who their like one and only goal, it seems, is to get their kids through college? I think it comes back to what we talked about during the Shiny Object podcast. It's start with why. Yeah. Like, why are you going to college? Like, what is your end result? Right? We always say that if it's it's the quote with the, the Alice in Wonderland, right? Yeah. If you don't know where you want to go, any road will get you there. Yeah. Right. And we have to start with the end in mind. And what is the end result? And ask ourselves, will college get us to that result? Yes. Will it get us yes. to our job, our profession, our degree? And are we okay with walking away with fifty to hundred thousand dollars in debt because of that and yeah. consequence as well? Here, here's the thought: opportunity cost is relevant regardless if it's money, time. It's it's just an amazing concept. Uh, period. And opportunity cost is essentially every decision you make has a consequence. It's a consequence now, and it has a consequence in the future. Um, college can be an amazing tool, can be an amazing platform, can be the very best thing for you to do. That's the case. Go for it. Do it. Be present. And, and and we're a big fan of you being your greatest asset. Use that as a way to invest in yourself. And and there's still a lot of data, by the way, that people with college degrees make more money. Now, I don't know how that will change. I know that there's companies as we speak that are relooking at their policies or whatever. But but if college is 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 going to help you get to where you want to go, go for it. But we see so many people that literally like come to us and say, I 100% I agree with you, but I'm doing this because I'm afraid to have the conversation with the person that I love the most. Or I'm, I'm afraid of what my friends will say. I'm, I'm afraid what my, what my grandma or grandpa will say because they're putting us through college. And so, and again, it's just really, really evident. Um, but then again, says the two people with college degrees. Yeah. Well, you know, my story was I started off going to school one because I just thought it was the best thing. Exactly. For me. I just exactly. thought. Right. And it was just like kind of the next step in line without ever thinking of like what else. But then I end up getting to school and realizing the reason I'm in school is to play football. So yeah. that was like, OK, I'm here to play football and to get a degree. But then I started to truly realize that the things that I was learning in school was not practical for what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a business owner. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I was going to classes like geology and yeah. science that was talking about rocks and things like that. I was like, this is not going to help me become a successful entrepreneur. So therefore, what I ended up doing, which is unfortunate because I wasn't present, I wasn't there, is I would take books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I would take them to like economics class and science class. And I would read that book. And I don't regret any of it, right? I walked away with a 2.5 GPA <laughs> because I had to. One semester, I ended up getting a 1.2 GPA uh, when I had that aha yes. moment. Um, but I don't regret it at all because my opportunity cost of the time that yeah, I spent yeah. truly made me who I am today. If I would have spent all that time studying and going to class where I'm like focused and learning about these rocks and taking homework back to home and not spending time reading more books, yeah. 
I would not be who I was today and would not be as successful as I am today, which successful is arbitrary, but for my happiness, my purpose, my visions align. I wouldn't have met you. I wouldn't be sitting in this chair. Yeah. I promise you that. Yeah, I love it, man. I was the exact opposite. I actually, school was really tough for me. I cared way too much about it. And so I just, I achieved. But but now looking back, I have a, I don't even, I don't even know my GPA. I, I, I don't even like, I've never been asked since uh, about college. And ironically, by the way, you can work at Better Wealth without a college degree. We care way more about your work ethic, your proactiveness. And if you follow the core values and if you're willing to put in the work, then what what a piece of paper says that you check the box. So anyways, man, appreciate that. Appreciate you making that video. I know you put a lot of thought into that. And my hope is that one person, one person will watch us on YouTube or listen to us on on the Better Wealth podcast and really just just hit the hit the pause button and say, okay, what what am I doing? Why am I doing it? And uh, it would, we would love to hear from you. We would love to hear your college experience. Um, if you have a crazy college experience or an, or an epiphany, let us know. We're, we want as many people from our community to come on the show. And and again, we have no agenda by we're not anti college. We we're really we really want people to live intentionally. And we see so many people set back financially and time wise because of one decision. So with that, any final thoughts? Yeah, I mean, the whole reason, the main reason why I created the video is because there's a huge lack of financial education, specifically in schools and education where it doesn't prepare us. There's way too many statistics. You just type into Google and say American financial statistics. There's way too many negative statistics around not having financial security, financial education, having money in general, right? And that decreases the quality of our life, which decreases our happiness, which incre decreases our impact to the rest of the world. And so that's why here at Better Wealth, like we truly focus on starting with one, your why, and then getting super clear on that. And then financial education being a key proponent of that, because you don't get what we teach really in, in anywhere else. Like you don't get that in school. You don't get that in the household sometimes. And so we've created a foundation for people to come and really learn and uh, really just become the best version of themselves. I love it. Go live intentionally. Thank you so much for listening to the Better Wealth Podcast. It would mean the world to me if you could hit subscribe, leave a review, and share this with the people that you know and love.